some of y'all might have heard of before. You might have bought his albums back in the day with his partner, the Fresh Prince. He's from Philadelphia, PA. You may have heard about some of his artists like Music Soul Child, Jill Scott. Some of y'all might have seen him on his little TV show called the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Berman in Atlantic City at the Foundation Room. It's 2 a.m. and I have a legendary DJ who is so innovative that believe it or not, you better believe it because you got the first, you and the Fresh Prince got the first Grammy Award in the rap category in 1989. DJ Jazzy Jeff, man, it's great to see you. Good, definitely. Thank you. So listen, we'll talk about that stuff in a second. Let's talk about Mac Miller. What are you guys doing? Oh, we're working on some stuff. Actually, we're working on some extra special stuff, too. Um, you know, he's currently on tour, so I'm just waiting for him to get home. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really fond of his success and just, you know, his independence and, uh, and how he's doing it. So, you know, I'm looking forward to getting in the studio with him. We got some magic coming. Now, you're a producer, a very accomplished producer. You're an actor. In fact, every week we saw you get thrown out of the Banks' house. Remember that? Yeah, <laughs> that hurt a little bit. <laughs> but you've also had a major hand in the development of the careers of Jill Scott and Music. Mm -hmm. um, how did how did that get together? How did you get together with them? I know they're all from Philly, like you are. Um, well, I started a production company in 1990 called A Touch of Jazz, um, and it was basically built on you know just giving people the opportunities that Will and I had. Um, and just producing and, and trying to put them out in the marketplace and just, you know, help them out. Um, and I was fortunate enough to work with people like Jill Scott and Music Soul Child and Floetry um, and just help launch their careers. And he continues to be representing Philly. You still living in Philly? Absolutely. Oh, man. At Bartram High, for those of you watching this, I know it's worldwide, but we got we to gotta <laughs> bring right. it a little bit local here. Um, you're from West Philadelphia. Uh -huh. And uh, man, there's so many great memories. There's so many great people came out of our town, yeah. including the Fresh Prince, Will right. Smith. Now you guys still hanging together and everything? Absolutely. Still working together? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, he just bought uh, a little piece of the 76ers. So you're gonna be seeing us courtside at the games. See, this is big. Now you're producing mm -hmm. and you're, you're in the studio all the time. Do you have anything new coming out for you? I know you're working with so many other people. Um, yeah, I'm working with a couple of people. I, I'm, I'm actually doing some stuff with an artist from Philly named um, Dosage that, um, you know, I'm helping him get some of his stuff together. I have a young lady out of Toronto named Aya that we just finished an album. Um, so I'm just, you know, besides, you know, in the studio making music and traveling the world, DJing, you know, I'm, I'm loving it. Okay, I got one for you. Jazz, you're in DJ Hero, the video okay. game. How good are you at the game? I used to be really good. I used to be really good and until I came up on this 11-year-old kid that just beat the daylights out of me. So I just kind of stopped. DJ Jazzy Jeff, a couple minutes here at the Foundation Room in Atlantic City with Mark Berman for NJ.com. <laughs> Let that, that, that don't kill me. Can only make me stronger. 